the book of Esther, chapter 3. After these things did King Asarias promote Haman, the son of Hamathatha, the Agagite, and advanced him, and set his seat above all the princes that were with him. And all the king's servants that were in the king's gate bowed and reverenced Haman, for the king had so commanded concerning him. But Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence. Then the king's servants which were in the king's gate said unto Mordecai, Why transgress thou the king's commandment? Now it came to pass, when they spoke daily unto him, and he hearkened not unto them, that they told Haman to see whether Mordecai's matters would stand, for he had told them he was a Jew. And when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence, then was Haman full of wrath. And he thought scorn to lay on hands of Mordecai alone, for they had shewed him the people of Mordecai, wherefore Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout the whole kingdom of Ahasuerus, even the people of Mordecai. In the first month, this is the month of Nisan, in the twelfth year of King Ahasuerus, they cast pur, that is the lot, before Haman from day to day, and from month to month, to the twelfth month, that is the month of Adar. And Haman said unto King Ahasuerus, Thus there is a certain people scattered abroad and dispersed among the people in all the providences of thy kingdom, and their laws are diverse from all people. Neither keep thee the king's laws, therefore it is not for the king's profit to suffer them. If it please the king, let it be written that they be destroyed, and I will pay ten thousand talents of silver to the hands of those that have charged of the business to bring it into the king's treasuries. And the king took his ring from his hand and gave it unto Haman, the son of Hamadatha, the Agitite, the Jews' enemy. And the king said unto Haman, The silver is given to thee, the people also, to do with them that seems good to thee. Then were the king's scribes called on the thirteenth day of the first month, and there was written according to all that Haman had commanded unto the king's lieutenants and the governors that were over the, every providence, and to the rulers of every people of every providence, according to the writings thereof, and to every people after their language. In the name of King Ahasuerus was it written and sealed with the king's ring. And the letters were sent by post unto all the king's provinces to destroy, to kill, and to cause to perish all Jews, both young and old, little children and women, in one day, even upon the thirteenth day of the twelfth month, which in the month of Adar, and to take the spoil of them for a prey. The copy of the writing for a commandment to be given in every province was published unto all the people, that they should be ready against that day. The post went out, being hastened by the king's commandment, and the decree was given unto Shushan the palace. And the king and Haman sat down to drink, but the city Shushan was perplexed. Chapter 4 when Mordecai perceived that all was done, Mordecai tore his clothes and put on the sackcloth with ashes and went out into the midst of the city and cried out with a loud and bitter cry and came even before the king's gate for none might enter into the king's gate clothed with sackcloth. And in every province with whosoever the king's commandment and his decree came, there were great mourning among all the Jews and fasting and weeping and wailing and many lay in sackcloth and ashes. So Esther's maids and her chamberlains came and told it her. Then was the queen exceedingly grieved, and she sent Ramnan to clothe Mordecai, and to take away his sackcloth from him, but he received it not. Then called Esther for Hadesh, one of the king's chamberlains, whom he had appointed to attend upon her, and gave him a commandment to Mordecai to know what it was and why it was. So Hattash went forth to Mordecai into the street of the city, which was before the king's gate. And Mordecai told him of all that had happened unto him, and of the sum of money that Haman had promised to pay the king's treasuries for the Jews, to destroy them. Also he gave him the copy of the writings of the decree that was given at Sheshan to destroy them, to shew it unto Esther, and to declare it unto her, and to the charge her that she should go in unto the king to make supplication unto him and to make request before him for the people. 
And Hattash came and told Esther the words of Mordecai. Again, Esther spoke unto Hattash and gave him commandment unto Mordecai. All the king's servants and the people of the king's provinces do know that what's whosoever, whether man or woman, shall come unto the king, unto the inner court, who is not called, there is one law of this to put him to death, except such to whom the king shall hold out the golden scepter that he may live. But I have not been called to come into the king these thirty days. And they told to Mordecai Esther's words. Then Mordecai commanded to Esther to answer Esther. Think not with thyself that thou shalt escape the king's house more than all the Jews. For if thou altogether holds thy peace at this time, then shall the enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. And who knows whether thou art come to the kingdom for such time as this? Then Esther bade them return Mordecai this answer. Go, gather together all the Jews that are present in Shushan, and fast you for me, and neither eat nor drink three days, night or day. I also and my maidens will fast likewise, and so will I go unto the king, which is not according to the law, and if I perish, I perish. So Mordecai went his way and did according to all that Esther had commanded him. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. In your loving name I pray. Amen.